In this lesson, you will be researching some common idioms in English and finding their equivalents in French to compare. Idioms are phrases that are used commonly, but they are very specific to certain languages and to certain cultures. So they don't always translate literally from language to language. And the individual words in the idiom will have a different meaning to when we put the words together to make that phrase. For this lesson, each of you will be given one of these 13 idioms and your task will be to research the idiom in English, find the equivalent in French, write a sentence using the idiom, and then draw a picture to illustrate it. When they're done, hopefully, they will all look something like this. So we will have on the left side the idiom in English, for example here, when pigs fly. We have the closest equivalent in French, when chicken get teeth. And the definition for both of them, it means that there's no chance of something happening. If we say that I'll do this when pigs fly, it means I'm definitely not doing it. An example sentence is, would you like to go for a run? Asked my friend. Maybe, when pigs fly, I replied. And in the right hand corner there down the bottom, there is an illustration of that idiom. So I have done this illustration on the poster by finding one that's already been done on the internet, but I would like everybody to draw their own picture and paste it into their poster. On this second page, so on the first page, when you log in, there will be um, a name next to each idiom. So you will all be allocated each one. On the second slide, you have the instructions. So when you see your name, find that slide and um, have a look at what you need to do. Your first step will be then to look up the meaning of your idiom in this dictionary. I would like everyone to use this online Cambridge dictionary because it's reliable and I've checked that all of the idioms are on there. So for example, if you end up having this first one, couch potato, you would go onto the dictionary, look it up and then copy the definition. So in the search bar, I'm going to type in couch potato and I'm going to read the definition. It says a person who watches a lot of television and does not have an active life. Back in that poster then, if this is mine, I would type in that def definition. I would then look at step four. So I need to write my own sentence using the idiom in English and not to copy it from the dictionary. So underneath the definition, I would write a sentence using that idiom couch potato. Step five tells me to find out the French equivalent of that idiom and write it on the slide. So if I already know this, I might just double check it online and write it in there. Check your spelling in French as well. This would be a good time if, you're, uh, if your parents are available and they're not um, busy with their own work at the moment. You might be able to talk to them and ask them what they think is the French equivalent of that definition. Make sure of that idiom, but make sure they have the same definition. And then your step number six will be to take your time and to draw some pretty illustrations of that idiom. So you can do something like in this example where you draw um, a picture of each idiom from each language, or you could do one picture that represents the full definition. So you could be quite literal, like in this one where it's a flying pig and a, a chicken with big teeth. Um, or you could be a bit more metaphorical or more abstract in how you create that image. It is up to you. And hopefully by the end of today, we will have um, this entire slide full of posters that illustrate the equivalent idioms in English and in French with a definition, a sentence and a nice picture. So please take your time with that picture. Lots of colour. Take care that it's presentable. The last two slides, uh, if you have any other ideas, if I've missed out some interesting idioms, please write them. So maybe you know one in French, but you want to know what it is in English. Write it there in French and then hopefully somebody can fill in the English version.